What's up, guys? It's Smooth Move Gas. <laughs> Welcome back for the Midnight Queue. Today we are gonna read a chapter of some guy's book. That was a fail. That was a butchering <laughs> fail guy. Okay, guys, welcome back. This is Bully Scholarship We and William H. Butlicker here for more Spiral the Dragon. And here we are in the final world, which is Nasty's world. Um, we're going to be doing the first two levels, and then we'll figure out what those other two dragon heads are for. So, let's hop right in. We're going to do Nork Cove, which is one of the two actual... I don't know. I love how, like... Eh, I'll spoil that later. Never mind. Don't don't even worry about it. Oh, the music here is pretty cool. It's pretty gangster. This, this level is pretty violent. There's like a lot of explosions. Like, watch this. Oh, wow. crap. Watch this. Let me kill this guy. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Okay. There's a lot of nooks and crannies here, too, which is kind of annoying, because I know I've always missed stuff here. But yeah, how you kill most of these guys, at least the fun way, is blowing them up by slapping a barrel at their face. Ugh. What are you looking up now? I was trying to find the thing that I just quoted this. It's actually, um... Oh! It was like Smooth Player Gus or something like that, but it was from the new episode of Psych. Oh, dude, I love Psych. It was so great. I was laughing the whole time. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like a giant naked man thing. He's like Tito. Does he have a bra on? Okay. I don't know, he's dead. That was really weird. Okay. But there was some talk show or on um, they're on a radio show on the new site. Oh yeah. And um Sean goes on first, but then they cancel his show, so then they give the show to Gus. Oh. And then Gus is like smooth move Gus in the morning or <laughs> I don't remember what it was. And he talks super seductively and he's like wearing all black and what the heck is he? Why is he wearing a bra? It's a guy. I I couldn't tell you why. Yeah, but anyway, he was smooth move Gus. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Like Scoob. He's putting his ringer in your right. <laughs> ringer in your right, right. Ooh, ice cream. Yeah. <sighs> ah! Ow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, they had entire robot armies. Uh, let's blow this up. <laughs> cool. Are um, all the missions in this world gonna be like Carbers? Two of them one? are. Okay. Actually? Yeah. <laughs> you rescued you Queen Latifah. Work, <laughs> I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Oh, shaking in my Nork boots. I heard Nord. Oh, <laughs> no, this ain't Skyrim, fool. This is whatever worlds. I don't know if this area actually has a world name. It's I mean, I mean, like, um, Shy Guy Harbor or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. In Paper Mario, you know? Yeah. I mean, the first one? Or in the second one? Or no, the first Paper Mario. First one. Oh, yeah, the harbor. There's, there's the harbor. Toad Town Harbor? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Dude, Toad Town Harbor. <laughs> yeah, but the whale, the professor, uh, what's his face, keeps calling it a tuna. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Dude, that, that Means, is. The, um, the uh, geologist guy. Yeah, the archaeologist guy. Yeah. yeah, what's his name? I just know that Cooper is like. It's his dad his, or his uncle. It's his, like, his, like, idol. Uh, yeah. His dad is... I don't know what happened to his dad. In the second one, his dad apparently gets, like, eaten by Hooktail, but then you just find him in Hooktail's stomach somehow Is Cooper alive. back in the second one? No, but his, but someone named Coops is, oh. which is similar. I mean, there was a lot of references to the first one, which is cool. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I haven't played the second one. I've, well, I've played it some, but I never owned it. I played it at my cousin's I freaking house. love the second one. The first one's better still, but the second one is, like, the perfect sequel. And the third one, I don't really like because it, it's But the other day, um, what was like a week bad. or two ago, there's this well, one kid who's like, of our school, he's just like so is he terrible liberal? at being so, no, he's just like so bad at talking to people and everything. Oh, yeah. And he's like totally that guy. And then he also that has, guy. yeah, he has a younger brother who is awkward like him, but yeah. he's like, he plays sports and music and everything, so like everybody knows him and likes him and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, so the older one... You should write a review on Paper Mario in the school paper. 
I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that, Josh. And yeah. he made some reference to the second one. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, it's from the second one. It was way better than the first one. You should do that one. I'm like, eh. It wasn't better, but like the second Rip Brother was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The first, the second one's really good. I mean, I, I still like the first one more. Just because it's more, I don't know, it's more nostalgic. It's the original. Yeah. But the second one's definitely probably the one of the coolest game sequels. But is it as nostalgic as Halo 3? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, there were some good times on Halo 3, I will admit it, with, like, FD egg. And jo did Chris even have Xbox Live? Like, Back then, no. No. So, what? No, nope, he never, he's played it, he only ever played it online, and he's at my house. Yeah. We'd play it online. Can't be that uh, nostalgic. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. For anyone, it should be for, like, Joe or Evan or me or one of us, not... <laughs> yeah. Someone who owned it. <laughs> does Chris have it now? I he has Devin or Lucas's copy, oh. but he didn't buy it from them. He's just been borrowing it for like four years. <laughs> that guy's so weird. Okay, let's rescue this one guy. Thomas. Oh, this guy we rescued earlier. Wow, I never thought I'd be rescued. How do you get stuck again? Especially by such know. a little dragon. Uh, well, what I mean is. I always believe Maybe it was Thomas both an H. You gotta believe. Maybe. You just gotta believe. <laughs> That's what Spyro just said. You know, just in case you didn't hear. In case you're wondering, viewers, I turned the TV down so my mic doesn't pick it up and so you don't hear double sound. And since I'm not always the best at syncing my audio perfectly, it'd be really annoying. If you get the idea of that. So I'm stuck only hearing the clinking of jewels or coins whenever you grab them. Yep. Do you want the headphone to no. hear the magic? Here, no, you I can don't have like them. It. No. Yes, you do. I refuse. Yeah, I don't like earbuds either. Over the head ones are so much better. I have those if you really want to whip them out. No, I mean, I, I like earbuds that are not Apple. That are actually comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. I just never buy and them. I have good it. quality and everything. Yeah. I don't approve of Apple. It's actually Apple, the pods. Yeah. Which is what these are, right? Yeah, the ear pods or whatever. They're like, I remember... Some of them like they're better than bows. I was like, ha! Whoa! I, mean, I don't know if Lincoln would even say that. It was probably like Apple. Wasn't actually. he all excited about them? Remember, we were, it was after a Twins game when they first came out, and we were reading all the statuses. Oh, I don't remember him saying that, but maybe <laughs> anything's possible, I suppose. Because they really aren't anything special. And I don't have the key. <laughs> oh. I you were <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here's how we kill. Wait, is there a rat? Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes! What's a rat? Uh, it'll give me some butterflies. Like the sheep did earlier. I can't believe it's not butterflies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I guess both of them. Yeah. Wow, that wasn't even close. <laughs> remember one time I glitched it. I don't remember what I did, but it was friggin' hilarious. That wasn't very descriptive, I'm sorry. It sounds pretty hilarious. <laughs> Shut up. It was so funny. I, I'm trying to remember what I did if I, like, blew up everything down here or what happened, but something went terribly wrong. Oh. Oh? It reminded me of my mom. Like, half the time she'll, <laughs> she'll start saying things. Yeah. And then she won't finish it and expect me to answer. Like, she'll... So did you ever find... Oh, my dad will do that, too. I'm like, and then she won't finish it, and I'm like, yes, I yeah. did find it. She's like, sorry, I got distracted. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, uh, uh... So, what did I find? <laughs> <coughs> and then sometimes they'll forget. I'm pretty sure everyone's parents do that. <laughs> it's just like a given. Oh, oh, I'm over here. Is it the end? And I was over there. Yeah, but we gotta open up the chest. Ah, oh, why didn't you open that while you are there? Because I forgot. Oh, See, that's... now we have to go all the way back here. I know. Now we have to go all the way across the way there because it's so far away. It's far ridiculous. away. Especially with gas prices these days. Yeah. Good lord. Freaking 418. My goodness. That's a lot. It is. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. It's cheaper than diesel now. Yeah. Or it's more expensive than diesel. That's how it used to be. It used to be where diesel was cheaper than gasoline. So Now we're back to normal, so everyone should be happy. <laughs> I hope I don't die there. Okay. Okay. We're all good, guys. We're all good. Now let's go to the second harbor with a terrible book name involved in it. You know what it is? 
No, I don't know. I've never played this before. A terrible book name. Oh. A terrible I gotcha. book and movie series. I gotcha. All right. Harry now we're Potter. Gonna... Yep. <laughs> Harry Potter Harbor. Yeah. All right. Let's get some treasure here, but it won't be all of it because there's still more to be found in this head, but not in this one because. Well, we'll explain Stop that. it! <laughs> You're making me want to know. <laughs> it's actually a You're gateway. You're making me want to watch these videos. It's a gateway to the Shadow Realm. No. Um, Is it the Halloween? Yep. <laughs> Today I watched a video, it was only like two minutes long, of some guy that's in a relationship with inflatable animals. He's like, I was never very close with my mom. And then I got one of these for my pool, and I just fell in love with it. Does this like, sound like my strange addiction? Yeah. Oh, dude, look, this is such a violent level. Kids shouldn't be seeing this. <laughs> like, everyone has machine guns here. Huh. Like, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in Shadow of the Hedgehog. Did you ever play that? Oh, yeah, that game was so bad. Yeah, there's like aliens, and yeah, Shadow has guns, guns and motorcycles. I was like, <laughs> what the heck is Sega thinking? I'm sorry, but... I mean, some people might have liked it, but most people didn't like it, because it was just weird. It was weird hearing, like, a Sonic character swear. It was just like, uh, what? Lol, what? And the storyline was just really weird, too. <laughs> yeah. I, like, barely played. I was like, yeah, this game sucks. I thought it looked so cool at first. Oh, yeah. And my dad bring me. We got, like, the first date came out, and I... Did you buy it, or you rented it? I bought it. Oh, dude. Oh, back then, <laughs> it was a GameCube game. It was only, like, 30 bucks. Yeah. But then I got home and played it. Do you still like, have it? Or do you get no, it? No, I got rid of it like the next weekend. <laughs> yeah, I rented it, which I'm glad I did. Because that would have been really bad. That guy looks like freaking G.I. Joe. So G.I. Joe. Yep. Yeah, no, I did not like that game. That was just weird. And then, like, so can't you like kill Sonic in it or something? Or you like can team up with him or try to kill him off or something? I or, think so. I just remember it was really weird. Yeah. I mean, it was different. I don't blame him for trying to find different, but I, I don't know. I just didn't care for it. But it was stupid. But it was terrible different. Okay. Stop shooting me with your guns! I am an alien and I will kill you with my guns because I hate humans because I'm an alien. Oh, here we go. Maybe. They're just clips. Of what? Um, the new psych. Oh, yeah. And their official... <laughs> Um, Cosmos! Was, ha, Cosmo, I'll go find Wanda and poof. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some they bring back a lot, a couple dragons in uh, this area. Like, I'm pretty sure I rescued that guy in Magic Grafters World. In like, Magic uh, Kingdom? No, in High Caves. Pretty sure you were with me on that one. Jeez, what's shooting me? Um, was that one of the first ones? That was, well, the first one you were in, yeah. Oh, okay. That was in World 3, but um, it was the High Caves, the one with the giant scary bugs. Remember that? I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I rescued him there, or, or Wizard's Peak, one of those ones around there. Where he's like, welcome to the Magic Crafter's world. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they bring back dragons from each of the worlds to guide you on your final quest. Into finding out what's Whoa. in the green dragon head. <laughs> cool. Is uh, that the end of the game, or no? Oh, uh, what? The green dragon head. That was the one that I keep bugging Yeah, I know. I'm wondering if that... <laughs> it, it's, it's the special area. I'm not going to spoil it in case anyone hasn't actually played this game. Who's I haven't actually it. played it. Yeah, I know. That's exactly why. But I want to know. Yeah, well, tough luck. So therefore you can conclude that everybody else who hasn't played it is exactly like me and wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> tough luck, Chuck. <laughs> Thank you should spoil the ending. I should totally spoil the ending. Does Uncle Ben come back to life? Yep. Does Peter meet him again and Uncle ben retire as Spider-Man? Yep. Definitely. Does Batman build another nuclear bomb underneath the, the entire city? That was a terribly close thing to death right there. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, ah! oh flame in the food. Are they having berets? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's like some hardcore commando freaking weird... So Harbor. they're beret wearing frogs. They're like the definition of France. Yeah. Exactly. All right, and there's something that I need to get. This, I remember, was always an annoying supercharge for me as a kid. Like, it was just this winding path with holes in it. Well, not really holes, but holes at one part. Here, check this out. Let's see if I can do it in one try. Here we go. 
Check it out. I'm just gonna jump it. Yay! Okay. All of that to run through a brick. Yep. Or a box. Yep. It wouldn't have happened if we had gone inside the green dragon head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Should I play the rapping for Jesus video? No, let's not. I would ship my pants. Like, ship my yeah, pants? Yeah, ship my pants. What's like Kmart. Cletus! <laughs> be on yes. the lookout for I remember Cletus. Commando, Spyro. I think they I better be on the lookout for me. It's some weird animation. I don't remember, like, that freaking guy, like, freaking. Never mind. <laughs> you know what? I right, listen to some Snoop Lion. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. Snoop Lion. <laughs> Maybe later when we're like between recording. When it's just you and me? Yeah. <laughs> when we're not recording anything. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a great part. Totally breaking the third wall or fourth wall or whatever yeah. the statement is. Love it. <laughs> I saw an episode of Drake and Josh the other day where they do that. You know how like, they're always talking to the camera at the beginning? Yeah. I mean, like, they always do that, but then at the end of what Josh is like, well, enjoy the show. Oh, <laughs> like, wow. What the heck? <laughs> Weird. That's like, oh, you're supposed to know. Yeah. Uh, did I get everything? Oh, good. I thought I missed something. Yeah! Okay. Yes! <sighs> Alright, let's finish up Nasty's World, and then we're gonna cut, and then we'll do the finale. Woo! Yes! Okay, dude, now here's the purple dragon head. We're one step closer to the green one. I have about to break! Dude, look at all that treasure in one box. It's crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna complete this, but... Are we doing that mission now, or are we ending and we're cutting and we'll okay. We're cutting and we'll do a new one just because to make it more interesting. Let's pretend like we're a week ahead. <sighs> See you guys in a week. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we're at 97 percent, seventy nine out of probably eighty dragons. Is that out of the game or this world? The entire game. No, th there's only f five dragons, not seventy nine. We've gotten in this world. <laughs> yeah. Woo. So yeah. We're going to find that last dragon eventually. And we'll see what's in the fabled green dragon head. Yeah! yeah! I'll flame his nose. Okay. See you guys next time. We're going to take on Ganasty Ganork. And uh, as always... A grizzly ate my GoPro. Yep. <laughs> okay. See you later, guys.